you right down Sweep you off your feet Take you to my house I love to see you strut Up and down my floor I like it like that Howl, 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 howl Hey, 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 hey Howl, 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 howl Hey, welcome to the channel. Um, if you haven't uh, already or you're new to the channel, thumbs up and subscribe. All about blues harmonica and today I'm looking at Boom Boom by the great Johnny Lee Hooker. Personifies the blues John Lee, I think, alongside people like Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf, B.B. King, all those sort of guys, all those contemporaries. Um, Big Walter, Little Walter and um, all those. And um, this tune um, it's normally done, I would say, using an A harp in second position, but using a C harmonica because uh, I know most guys have got that and just unfortunately got it available today. So, um, and it's basically around one riff. So, uh, four draw, five draw, four blow, three draw half step bend, two draw. And then two draw all the way down full bend and back up to two. Let's run that again, four draw, five draw, four blow, three to half to bend, two draw. Two draw all the way down, two draw. Next bit, this is the other bit. Two draw, three to half to bend, four blow, to draw. All right. Okay. And that's basically what you need. Now, um, I've played through the changes there, um, but um, you can uh, work this out and just just groove on one chord, and that's what I would suggest that you do, um, because. It's not about playing, as I've mentioned in other videos, with these type of characters. It's not about playing lots of, lots of lines and patterns, things like that. You just want to be sitting off the groove. Uh, this is the other bit. Which is the main groove, which is two draw, three draw, half step bend. To four blow. All right. And within that little groove, um, just displace and just pick out a couple of notes in the blues scale to start with and just sit on them and just keep coming back to this groove and don't do anything else and just play around and get to feel the groove and once you're fairly okay with it um, comfortable on your own then it'll make it much easier when you're with others it's the old adage in, in blues and jazz that um, you work out alone is the hardest Two people gets a bit easier, three people gets easier, more people gets easier. All right. So uh, as an improviser, you tend to work out through all your changes on your own um, and then you, you build accordingly. It's just the, the, the finest way to play, really, or the best uh, uh, economical and quickest way to, to go about it, I think. Um, it uh, at times uh, can be uh, it's uncompromising because you're just left with your own devices. You've got nothing else to hide behind in the music <laughs> but it's the most efficient way okay so that's basically the the riff uh, that you, you want to use and, and what you want to and it's a it's a great vehicle just to play around with um, and so just have a go at that see how you get on with it um, if you want to sort of take it further and you want, want me to do the whole lesson for you if you want to contact me for a Skype I'll do that uh, get me on harp over healer Wix um, I'll blow out at the end, probably on one of the deeper harps, either the A harp or B flat, just to give you an idea. And um, 
gets you thinking into the, the work of, uh, of John Lee, John Lee Hooker. Okay, I'll catch you on the rebound.